perfect timing how did i do it i don't know but i did it let's start the music shall we boom 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 -dum -bum -bum. how's it going everyone another fantastic wednesday many people requested this one after we did our last little uh survey to see where we would go for a live stream and, uh, and I figured, yeah, it has been a quite a while since we went to uh, Knee Creek, so I'm excited about this one. Boy, that little spot right there almost looks pretty tropical, doesn't it? Well, cool. Um, yeah, we're going to go to Knee Creek today. We are, um, we have a few things at our disposal, though I will say, I never switched this up. Let's change this up real quick. Get this ready. We got 24 pounds. Let me get something for this. A little more appropriate, eh? Nope, that's not a liter. Got 26 pound, 24. This should be fine. And then I'm gonna throw on our little two op bullet spinner. Hopeful. Oh, it's too light. Interesting. These are oh, this is good. Hopefully, hopefully this is good. All right, let's go to Kenny Creek. See what we can get into. We're gonna target some smaller salmon species in the rapids, and then we will go after some of the bigger salmon as well. Um, so should be good. Anywho, what's going on? We got Fat Seagull in the house. Ham Nor, Parker, Colby, Logan, Kai, Stark. Uh, Vince, Jim, Colby, Stark, Tegan, Tegan, Tegan. You think you were banned from the server and you don't know why? Well, if you were banned from the server, there was probably a reason why. But who knows? I don't have time to deal with, with stuff most of the time. 
if something is brought to my attention, I usually just get it out of the way because I'm, I'm a busy guy. I don't have time to deal with people doing crazy things on the server. Anywho, were you, were you by by server you mean the Discord server or are you talking Fishing Planet? <laughs> All right, this is an interesting little rod here. Well, let's see if we can catch anything out here. What is this for? I'm curious. Mark for a historic bull trout. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can get... This is such a... This rod is so sensitive. Do a little straight retrieve, hopefully. Switch back and forth between one speed and two speed, I guess, to keep it in the middle of the water column. Didn't get anything out of that one, though, did we? Yeah, I still think maybe if we keep it on one speed, it'll allow us to do it. Do it okay. It says it's too light for this rod, but I think we can still make it work. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Tegan Tegan. Tegan is number one. Tegan is number two. Let's see if I remember that. Tegan number two. You tell me which one's right. One or two. Just caught a 547 pound alligator gar on real VR fishing. Whoa. It's a big one. That is a uh, unrealistically large alligator gar. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that freaking fish? That was a ginormous pink salmon. We're going to get him. Come here, pink salmon. Go after this spinner. The bullet spinner. Cool. Yeah. Been watching you for three years ever since you started. You're my favorite person fishing related on you. Oh, well, thank you, Mystic Diva. Appreciate it. Favorite fishing related person on you. You know, I hope to be. I mean, I already am because it's really a, a very niche thing. But uh, I do hope to be. Set it in stone. The the salmon are just jumping, man. The fishing guy on YouTube, fishing fishing game YouTube guy. Hopefully we can uh, get that really set in stone this next year. I'm looking forward to it. All right, come on, bullet spinner, do your work, do your work. I was watching some old videos, and this seemed to be doing pretty good. This old bullet spinner. But right now we're really not seeming to do much of anything, are we? Might have to switch it up if we don't get anything on this cast. Doesn't seem like there's any interest. Stop and go, trying to keep it in the middle of the water column. Yeah, there's just a bunch of nothing going after this. Could be wrong color. Could be wrong lure. Let's switch to a medium spoon just to see. I only have four out medium spoon, so we're just gonna have to go with it and see. If we don't get anything with this, we might just have to head off and try to get some uh, Chinooks and Cohos or something like that. But the pink and chum salmon usually in these rapids here. That is what we're going for at the moment. And they're kind of in like, the big ones are kind of like in the 20 pound range, which is why we're using this little rod here. This little reel's just having a difficult time keeping that, keeping those spoons up. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Number one, Tegan, okay. Good deal. How you doing? Doing quite well. Did we get snagged up or did we catch, we definitely got snagged up. Man, we are just doing garbage over here, aren't we? Absolute garbage. Wish I could be a level like you. Oh. Ooh. Starts at the beginner series, that's for sure. That's for sure. In my highs and lows, just want to say I love your content. Colby, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Well, glad it's uh glad it's helping out with everything. Game, life, all of the above. You lost the golem lure. No. 
can't lose the golem lure. This is absolute garbage. What is going on? Absolute garbage. All right, this is my last cast over here. Then we're moving to a different area. I thought, I thought the rapids would be a good place to start off. Get some fun little fish, some chums, some little, little pink salmon or something like that. We aren't getting anything. A little sockeye, a little sockeye salmon would be fun. Of course, we're kind of bouncing this lure around on the bottom too, aren't we? This reel is just being, this reel is just garbage is what it is. The retrieve is not helping us at all. Let's try this one. Maybe this one will be a little bit better. I like how I just lie to your guys' digital faces. After this cast, we're definitely moving on, everybody. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I do something completely different. <laughs> okay, I I promise we're moving. Let's go over here. Oh, warm up by the fire. Oof. Gotta get that fire. I'm gonna turn up the environment. And maybe hear a little bit of that Alaskan, Alaskan sound there. Any tips for blue crab? Have a good time. Blue crab's a fun map. Not so much for grinding out stuff, but just a fun map. Should you get on and join if you want to? I'm not in control of your life. You do what you want to do. Okay, how do we cross this? No, there was a way to do it. There we go. Scared a bird. Flushed a bird out in the middle of this river. Let's try a few casts out here. And if we don't get anything, then we'll move on way out to the end over there where we usually have pretty good luck about going for Chinooks and stuff like that but uh try twitch or using a spoon maybe the twitch good way to go about it usually a good starting good starting retrieve for any spoon is the is the twitch it's pretty much an instant hookup if a fish comes along and tries grabbing it too so usually good bet didn't get anything on the first cast though I was actually watching usually with these live streams when I have time I go back and I watch an old video of me fishing in the same location just to get an idea a little bit of a refresher course on uh, fish look at that big Chinook that just jumped there a little bit of a refresher course on uh, you know lures I use times fishing and all that sort of stuff and um, and I saw that I caught a unique Chinook on this yellow medium spoon for odd so I thought well, might as well try to repeat that. At the moment, we're just catching a whole lot of nothing, aren't we? I also have a crankbait. We can try crankbait. I have some larger, larger lures. I guess that's the way to go about it. But who knows? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Any tips for blue crab? It should be for you. Hello, happy man. How's it going? I am just do it get some money then go somewhere else make no money but have more fun there you go like games you gotta have some fun just caught a 600 pound atlantic sturgeon wowie zowie blue crab is no longer the same for farming it's difficult to level up it's always been difficult to level up at blue crab very inconsistent fish you can catch lots of different fish on the same same baits of blue crab, which makes it difficult to uh, to farm a specific fish. You know, if you're just in it, I mean, it can make it more fun too, just to catch a variety of fish all at the same time, and just call that farming or you know gr grinding whatever it may be. But uh, but yeah, yeah, man, man, man. Is the time we're fishing? We're like the perfect time for fishing. What can we do? What can we do? We sh should we try crankbait? Mix it up. Do something different. We gotta try something different. 
Otherwise, we're just gonna be out of luck. Let's try this. What's your PB? My PB. Probably the fighter shark. Biggest fish in the game. Does not look like outside though at the moment. We are up to 38 inches of snow and still snowing. My goodness gracious. That's crazy. Looks like at three feet, we're about third way through. We finally caught a fish on the crankbait. Thank God. And it's a little Chinook. That means we could possibly go up to a larger hook. But honestly, I mean, this is... We could we could technically probably get a pretty decent one on this, too. What do they have in the shop? I'm just kind of curious. As far as lures. They have crankbaits in here. Six foot five on. Do I have a six foot five on in here? I do. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, let's see. 75 people watching and 33 likes. I'm telling you, it's just, you know, I, I try to get used to it. The idea that, you know, the majority of people just don't like me. They show up to watch, sure. They don't like me. They almost like they're honestly frustrated with their lives that they, you know, continue to watch me, but they honestly just have a deep hatred for me inside. It's a, uh, it's an interesting thing, but yeah, I, I try to get used to it. What bait to use for carp on a cloudy day? I have been told on cloudy days to go for more savory uh, baits. You know, squid. Uh, what, are, what are the other ones? There's shellfish or something like that. Um, other things like that. Shrimp, maybe? Can't recall. But uh, I have heard that that's a good way to go about it. Might have dropped our chances of a decent fish down quite a bit by switching to this 5 aught. I mean, I, I think if we caught one, it would be a good fish, but our chances of catching a fish at all have gone down, which honestly makes for a pretty crummy live stream. So we might go back to the three hot. <laughs> at least, at least we caught a fish on that. Goodness gracious. There's just Chinooks jumping like dolphins over here, but for some reason they're not, they're not going for any lures. Oh, thank you, Parker. And happy man. At least we got one on this uh, three yacht. Little uh, crawfish colored crank, right? Oh. What's the best lure for tarpon and best time to fish? You know, there's just multiple times. We have lots of videos fishing for tarpon. Our, the one we most recently did going for tarpon was the uh, chasing after our favorite fish in a live stream. If you just want a quick little tutorial on what, how to how to catch a tarpon, what time to be fishing, lures, and all that jazz, I'd check that out. It'd probably help you out. Um, accused, accused. So what did you say? If if someone says you said it but you don't think so, what what did you say? Maybe we can uh, decipher this whole situation, Diamond Dog style here. You heard where you live three inches of snow for five weeks. Wowie zowie. Are you looking forward to that or no? How's y'all's days? How's y'all's days? Man. I don't know. I, I, you know, I never thought I was like a master of Kenny Creek, but I, I thought I was pretty decent at Kenny Creek. But right now, it's just punishing me, man, for no reason. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. We've tried medium spoons, crankbaits, uh, bullet spinners. Could be doing the wrong color. Who knows? I did not call the kid fat. Listen, if I describe, um, let's see. 
If I describe a four-legged animal with a long tongue, flappy ears that pants a lot, barks sometimes, you know, I'm not telling you that it's a dog, but you do think of a dog when I say it. So even though you may not have called a kid fat, you could have said something else that in turn made it seem like you called him fat. I hope I, I hope I deciphered that situation for you, made you understand how it could have been misconstrued. Um, quickly check YouTube before bad in your stream. Just want to say that I love your content. Good night. Enjoy the stream. Yeah, go, well, right on. Thank you. Appreciate it. I hope everyone does enjoy the stream. Let's try a medium spoon over here. I've always had good luck with the Chinooks over here, so maybe this is what we've been missing. Just fishing over here. Pass towards that little, uh, where that bank sorts come out into the river over there, or where the river starts to curve, I suppose. Do a variety of retrieves here. See if we get lucky. Ocean update. Yeah, lots of people can't wait for the ocean update. Oh, okay. We were playing a tic tac toe to really relay race type game. Does anyone know what European bison drink time is? Not off the top of my head, anyway. How are you guys doing? Most fires here. Oh, I was just about to get on, but I got a call. So, okay. Well, you go do that, Dallas Johnson. One rod's first biggest fish kind of would be great. Thank you. You know, if it were easy to do those things, for sure. Unfortunately, I'm kind of busy doing other stuff in the moment. So, live streams is all we get for a while. I'm sorry. I'm a rather busy person. I say this all the time. Hate to sound like a broken record, but you know what? When you're just pulling clubs out of a deck, you're unfortunately gonna only be playing clubs. That's just how it is. And you need to shuffle your deck most likely. But uh, yes, I'm a busy person, so I'll continue to say that I'm busy and it's hard for me to make videos. Told him to do top right and he did bottom middle. Okay. It wasn't a fun place at Tiber River. You know, Kanik Creek is a fun place, but if you came here and you had the luck that I've been having right now, you'd probably be thinking that it was a pretty bad place too. Um, Cause I'm just sucking it up. I don't know what the deal is. I'm doing a bunch of stuff that I usually do, but it's just not working right now. Pumped for Thursday night football. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a sockeye falling it right now. Okay, we caught a fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Goodness gracious, it only took 20 casts right on. We're killing it now. So that was just a straight retrieve. Maybe we just need to stop trying to do fancy retrieves and just do a straight retrieve. Get it up here. But your pod tomorrow never fished with him before, but he passed down all his fishing gear to me. So now I own an entire Bass Pro Shop in your garage. Right on. That's awesome, man. Well, good luck. Hopefully you catch some. Bill Nye is in the stream. Oh my goodness. Dylan told him we lost because you didn't and he walked away and almost got beat by another kid for calling him fat. Ah. Well. Yep. Sounds like you weren't being very nice. Don't know what to say there, my man. I don't know how that could have been taken as fat. Maybe we missed out on a part of the conversation there. But, uh, yeah. Interesting. Obviously some miscommunication somewhere, eh? Love the live streams too. Right on, Royal Lab. See ya. You got me so good at fishing playing and way more advanced. So thanks, right on, Colin. Glad to hear it. 
we are having some major difficulties. I need something that I can use while reading the chat. Do we have a lure that does that? Why can't we catch a sockeye that big? They're just, they're just mocking us, jumping in front of us, and then we cannot do anything, evidently. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Here we go. What's your all-time PB fish in real life? Big ol' alligator gar in Texas. Weighed 200-some pounds. Only thing I've ever caught at Kanik is a unique sockeye salmon. I got you. The sockeye are fun. They're pretty fish. How to catch fish. Yeah, how to catch fish. That's what we're going over. I wish I could tell you, but I can't catch any fish here at Kanik Creek. They're literally... I would have more luck just walking into the lake with a net at the moment. Call it a lake. It's a river, but whatever. Or a creek. Kanik Creek, man. Oh, nice, Kai. That gets difficult when it gets cold out because you don't want to open up the windows because it's cold. But then, like, like in my house, last house I was in, we had, like, a, you know, an exhaust fan. So when we were cooking, we just, you know, the exhaust fan took, you know, the smoke and stuff like that from cooking. Here we don't have one. So it's like, if I cook something, it, I just have like a big fan in the kitchen and that's all I got to like kind of get things moving. The entire house gets smoky at times, like when I use butter with like pork chops or like steak or something like that. Oh my God. But I know what you're going through. Do you think the ocean update will be one to max? Will be one to ma Oh, we got hit by something there. Will be one to max. What does that mean, Stella? You're an emerald board trying to catch the pike slasher and it is impossible to catch anything there. Like every three nights there is a half decent time to fish and I catch like three fish just barely enough. That's wild. We got a little tiny Chinook. Good golly. What happened to the fishing at Ch Kanit Creek? We need a switch. Let's switch to here. Maybe the fishing is better if we do it around here. Really want to catch a Chinook salmon? Should have fished at nighttime too. I had good time. I had good luck in the past fishing at night for salmon. Maybe we'll do this the next night. We'll do that. Do a bit, little bit better job keeping in the middle of the water column if we do a stop and go. So hopefully they like the stop and go. Is it possible? We got into something there. Snagged something. Is it possible that when you told him that you lost because of him, he took that in, he was being slow during the relay section of it, and he was slow because, you know, he he was a little heavier on the heavier side. So he took it as you were saying, you know, you lost because he was slow because he was fat. And so in turn, it made it seem like you said he was fat, and that's why you lost. Huh? How about that? A little Sherlock Holmes. Maybe. I don't know. Roach always works well here, too. Roach. I don't think I know what a roach is. Other than the little fish. Crankbait? We, we tried the crankbait. We can switch to that uh, six, the five aught one that went down the six feet. We can try that again. A little bit of a deeper area here. And you try the inline spinner. We were trying a bullet spinner not too long ago, but we, uh, I don't think I brought any regular just spinners with me, to be quite honest. We can try... Try this thing. 
toss that guy out there. There's one. Just jumped right there. Royal F. The times are bad. I just check them in a week to see if we're good or not. Then I play. First unique, and I think I might know. What's my first unique? I don't know. I think it was my first unique ever, I think, was probably the Golden Trout at Rocky Lake. I feel like these sockeye that are jumping are like um, unrealistically large. I don't think there is a sockeye in the game that's that big. <laughs> I've caught unique sockeye before. I don't remember them being that big. <laughs> Will you try VR for next game? You want? I mean, we've we've tried VR in the past. So we, it's not it's not like we would be trying. Um, I'm not sure if we will though. VR is honestly like it's difficult to do. Like it's a lot more setup. It's not like something where you can just be like, oh, I'm gonna do VR today. Boop boop, and I'm good to go. Like it takes like half an hour to an hour to like set everything up to do a VR video. Um, so it's a lot of work. Especially if you do a VR video and then you switch to a normal video and then you go back to a VR video. It's a lot of work um, So for that reason we usually don't do VR videos because Just a pain and I usually don't have enough time to do regular videos. So I don't definitely don't have enough time to do VR videos What's my favorite food peanut butter jelly? It's spring, but we're in Extreme hot, but I didn't want to open doors and the exhaust fan doesn't work either. Oh, no You're just in a whole lot of n n not good luck. Are you? So this one's not working. We can go back to the three out and see if that That works better We're really just not having good luck. I don't know if the bite rate is just really poor or I mean because we fish during two different days now and the fish are jumping as if they're just everywhere. Hooked up on something, taking out some line. It's the first time we've caught something that seemed like it had a little bit of weight to it. It's a Chinook. Doesn't look very big though. Twenty-one pound trophy Chinook. Okay. A A A A O O O O. Thanks, Sherlock Holmes. Thanks, bro. How do you get the fish net to get the fish out of the water and fishing planet? I wouldn't worry about it. If if the game prompts you to bring out the fish net, you hit the space bar. That's it. There's nothing else. By default, the net should be on. So if, if you're if you're not being prompted for a net, don't worry about it. What are you trying to catch? Well, we're at Kneek Creek, so we're obviously trying to catch bull sharks. What did you miss? You missed a whole lot of nothing. We've caught like four fish since we've been here. The bite seems to be rather poor. We could switch to using baits, but I, I'd always use lures at Kneet Creek, so it's like, feels weird to switch to baits, I guess. What do they go for? Shads, nymphs, medium spoons. Should we try a nymph? Try a buzz bait with a nymph. That would be something. You think they'd go for it? <laughs> Let's try it. I got a nymph. This is like one of the setups I always bring with me is a buzz bait in this X series nymph. I don't even know where I got this X series nymph, but I got it. The buzz bait is one of the most universal lures in the game utilitarian whatever you want to say um oh dude did you see that fish flying <laughs> he, oh we got one 
<laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. By putting pretty much any soft bait on the back of a buzz bait, you uh, you can use the buzz bait to fish. And uh, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing how you can be out here fishing for Chinooks with buzz baits. <laughs> but it's just because they want the nymph, man. They just want the nymph. That's all they want. And the cool thing about buzz baits is also, if you get it up on top water, it doesn't matter. You know, there's possibility they'll just come up and take it. But I don't know. I've never seen a salmon come up and take a topwater buzz bait. So this is, this would be a first for me. <laughs> oh. Roach spoon, the Halloween spoon. Oh, okay. So just a single spoon, basically. I got you. Whoa. Fish jumping, fish jumping. Let's try to keep this one low. Any sharks fight hard, I know. Any new updates about the big update release or is it still TBD? TBD, baby. It's like I always say, I, I'm never gonna have an update to tell you just from you asking. Like, I am going to tell you in a video before there is even a chance for you to ask me about the update. There's, there is pretty much a 0% chance that I have news that I'm not making a video about and you have a chance to ask me about it, if that makes any sense. Best number, 112 people, my goodness gracious. You know what that means? No pressure, everyone, but we're, we're, what are we, 35, 35 likes away. Nine minutes. Oh, we got him. I let it drop a little bit. I was trying to, Ooh, that's a decent Chinook there. Okay. All right. I see you. Woo. Got our 47 inches of retrieve. Should be good. Will he be a unique or a trophy though? That's the question. What are we thinking? Put it, put it down in the chat. What are we thinking? Unique or a trophy? Dude, he's racing. Look at him go. <laughs> Is he going? Oh, he's getting caught up on the aisle. He's, he's beached. He's a beached whale. Come here, you. Come here, you. You love fishing in the Amazonian maze. Nice. What would be the best casting rod and reel under 25? I would go into the store and look at what is there at level 25, and whatever is available closest to 25 is the best that you can get. It's, a, it's literally just a theme that will go on through the end of the game. Man, this dude is putting up a freaking fight. Maybe I just need to do a better job fighting them. Kind of reading the chat and fighting them at the same time instead of trying to fight them. All right, you. Gotta be unique, you think so? I got a net with your name on it. Is your name Steve? Because that's the that's what the net says. I hope it's Steve anyway. All right, get in there, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. My goodness gracious, will you believe? One of the first unique Chinook salmon that we can actually keep for me. <laughs> oh. Got him, got him. Nice, that is sweet. The pictures at Kanik are always cool, man. You know what I mean? Like that's a sweet pick. If you're one of those people that like to uh, save picks anyway. That's a good one. Yeah. 
Looking good there, Hino. Nice. Well, unique Chinook down. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, let's move on. Let's go somewhere else. We got the Chinook. We, we, we got him down. Catch carp on match night rods at Weaving Willows. Match night rods, eh? Fake outdoorsman's in the house. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for showing us the creek. Is it the only creek in the game or is there another creek in the game? I can't recall. I'm like trying to run my a lot of rivers. Slang River. Might be the only creek I know about. Truly a beauty. Truly. Where should you fish a level 58? Wherever you want to. The game is at your fingertips. You just, you just make it happen. I think the cohos will go after this buzz bait too. Oh, did he just come up and try to grab that? He's gonna, he's gonna get it. Oh, you missed it. You see that? Salmon on top water. That's the start of a new video. I can already see it. Topwater fishing for salmon. Fishing planet. <laughs> oh. And you do St. Croix live. Can you do St. Croix live? You know, we've done St. Croix quite a few times in the past. Look at that. We got him. We got him, man. Taking out line. Another Chinook. Be a good trophy Chinook, maybe. Nah. I don't know. It could be. Nah, surely not. Old Chinook salmon, 17 pounds. What do? What do the uh, the cohos? I know the cohos like medium spoons. I don't know. You're about to get to Saint Croix. Oh, very nice. Saint Croix is a fun place. That's a fun place. The best YouTube bow doing, doing quite well. Thanks for asking. We're just top water fishing for salmon right now. Nope, no big. Just what we like to do. It's our new thing. Good old, good old buzz bait for salmon. I know a new stream series catching uniques at every location. We already do that. It's the test your spot series. See North got one as well, top notch. White Moose or St. Croix Live. You know, honestly, at this rate, we might end up just going there during this live stream as well. I'll probably get bored of this because I'm not doing very well catching the other salmon species. <laughs> Grind in Lone Star Lake because I waste all your cash awesome rods and reels <gasps> oh no you quit fishing planet because it's too hard to level up you know you have to have your priorities in life and then you know i i understand a fishing planet's not a priority not a not like a fun game to you then you know that's that's a reason to stop playing i suppose i respect you for your decision What are the, did any of these fish like it? Or any of you fish into, they are into nymphs, okay. They're all into nymphs. I don't think I have any smaller buzz baits though, unfortunately. 
I never knew that we would need a buzz bait out here. Can we use just a bass jig? Choose a bass. <laughs> We're using bass lures for salmon. Here we go. Let's just uh just do this little like a uh, like a twitch or something down here. That's going to get those salmon going. Good old bass jig with a nymph. I have to cast upstream. While we're fishing, use a salmon egg. Yeah, that's, that's something we've tried in the past, isn't it? I didn't really, I don't think I brought, I might have some spawn sacks with me. If not, we'll just have to go back home. I just want to see if it's possible to catch one on this bastion. So far, we're still even with the bullet spinner. How did we try that bullet spinner for so long and never caught anything? How is that possible? Your first year fishing planet, when does the Christmas event start? So like a good like rule of the holidays is that they usually seem to like start fairly close to the holiday, like a week or two away, and then they last like a week or two afterwards. It would be nice if like, I don't know. Like, I have always said like, it would be nice if they just did it for like three weeks leading up to the event, because I don't really care about a Christmas event after Christmas. I've already moved on. Same with Halloween. Once Halloween's over, like, I'm putting all the decorations away. I'm not going, oh, I can't wait to complete that Halloween event. You know, I'm, I'm ready to move on. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a negative Nancy. <laughs> Being a 60-year-old man, I admire your patience. Your wit and sarcasm make me laugh. New deficient plan level 19. Thank you for being so chill. Oh, thank you. Right on. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, we had, we had, oh, do you see him swim off? We had interest. We had him. Oh. But I appreciate that, Warren. Appreciate it a lot. First year fishing planet. When does the Christmas already read that? Tiger musky fishing would be nice time or anything to do with pike like fit. Oh, we got him. We got a salmon on the bass jig. Let's go. It's a Chinook. You've got to be joking me. These freaking Chinooks. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> We're a Chinook magnet. We can't help it but catch Chinooks out here. All right. I don't think, let's see. I did not bring, well, maybe they have it. They do. I think I have. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do I have a fluorocarbon leader for it? And do we have a small enough hook for it? We just do a four odd hook. Four odd hook with a spawn sack. Can we try that? We're having connection issues, it says. Oh, should we check our depth? Probably check our depth. Do 30 inches. That'll keep it pretty close to the bottom anyway. All right. Everyone watch closely. If we're lucky, a magic trick will appear. And as the magic trick appears, the bobber will disappear. It's a... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that fish know that we don't need him to jump out? We need him to go under and grab the spawn sack. Screenshotted that. You screenshotted it? What's good? Probably don't remember. 
Hey, Steelhead, last year, any luck? If you need any more tips. Ah, if you were the guy, I can't recall. There's been a, there's been a few different people. I haven't been out. I haven't been out fishing uh, since I got back from Taiwan, which is a f like a week or two ago. I can't remember. Zero likes left and we got it. Good deal. Sorry, I got distracted. Our bobber is just slowly going out into the sunrise. But, oh, you got one. Good deal, Sea North. What'd you catch that one on, Sea North? That's lucky. Heck yeah. Blue Crab stream. Blue Crab. We were just at Blue Crab not too many streams ago, like two or three ago. Where were ya? See, if that freaking pink salmon there would go grab this spawn sack, then we'd have a fish. Yeah, good sized chum. Also not going for this. Chinook off in the distance. Oh, thank you, Dino Nuggets. I think that should be a thing. I think there should be likes and there should be loves. And then people could love the stream, love the video. It would it would just be another button they could press. Alrighty. Well we tried anyway. I can't believe they didn't go for that. It floated down the entire river. Shads. We try some shads. We just try like a jig. Just a regular old jig. Do I have a small jig like that? Not really. I don't have really big ones. There is a four on. Let's try it. Do I have a shad we could use? I only have big shads too. What the heck? It's almost like we only fish for big fish or something. What the heck? <laughs> oh, they don't have any shads here. Sad day. Well, maybe if we just throw this nymph on here. Let's do a few casts of this and then we'll do something else. How about? How about? What's the most expensive thing in the game? It's either a rod or a reel or a boat. I'm not sure. I think we should do like a lift and drop off the bottom or a stop and go. Couldn't even get the dang thing off the bottom until I increased the speed. Bit of a stop and go here. Whoa! Oh, Sea North's got it. Thought that might have been us for a second. Oh, <gasps> there is a Chinook! What the freaking heck? This nymph is a Chinook freaking magnet. What's the deal? Yeah, the Chinook really liked the nymphs, it seems. Got him. Trophy Chinook this time. We are just slaying the Chinooks. Sea North, you are getting all these super small. I'm trying to look at your lure real quick. You just disappeared on me. What the heck? The one time I actually want player models in short range. What are you using? What is that? A little nymph? Well, you're using nymphs. Are you using a small hook or what? How are you catching these fish? <clears throat> Maybe it's all about the... Anyone want to go to Lone Star and catch a fish with bread? <laughs> oh. We try this. 
Maybe, maybe our X series nymph is too much. It's only catching Chinooks. Try a two lot offset hook with a nymph. I don't have that with me. I don't think they have it for sale in the store either. We're, oh yeah, we freaking hooked up into a big rock right there. Shells, baby. What up, Big Bjorn? How you doing? They do? All right, I'll look. I'll look after this cast. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I don't think we need to net the fish if it's up on the bank. Just saying, fishing planet. All right. Okay, you're showing off now. So I see they have the, let's try the three out. But I don't have any more room. How is it I don't have more room? still I tried okay let's see what we got here I don't know let's get rid of these tubes Do 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 setting up some crazy stuff. Well, that's not very strong, is it? Thirty-three pounds. That's not much stronger. Let's try it. catch one now oh you're just using a floral leader and offset hook you're not using anything fancy wow how are you getting any that like that's that's able to sink down and everything fast enough when's the next stream monday wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central I say it at the end of every video. Go, Sockeye! <gasps> he was right there. Dude, we were so close. We're also fishing at a really bad time, but I'm just trying. I'm just trying to make it happen. Solar eclipses, night and day. About to go to bed. When's the next stream? I already said it. Good golly. And I say it at the end of every video. So every time people ask me, it's just them telling me that they don't respect me enough to watch the end of the video. Huh? Is that what you're saying? How dare you? Gah. Is there actually deep sea fishing now? 
what part of late 2023, early 2024 was telling you that there is deep sea fishing now? Huh? What? Silly goober. Hope you're good, bro. Never. Never good. I'm crazy. I'm always crazy. Well, you certainly found the lure for the sockeye. I'll give you that. Okay, forget this jazz. Get out of here, Carolina Hook. We don't need your crap. Where, where is it? You're literally just putting an offset hook and a nymph on there is all you're doing. Let's see how this works. We can cast it midway. <laughs> Why did we listen to you, C North? Oh God. Grab it! Oh, what a stupid idiot! He got stuck on that rock! God, he was like a Dolly Varden too. It was a pretty fish. What an idiot. <laughs> You're using an ultralight. Beautiful stop and go. It was beautiful. People wept at the side of that stop and go I just did. And yet we caught no fish. Goodness gracious. Here, let's try it on this one. Maybe we'll be able to cast it further with this rod. done the math and apparently see what you did you made me miss out on this fish right here no it's true I hate to tell you this but I don't know what sort of math you did but it's wrong <laughs> yeah. not only that but you should realize that in fishing planet there is a there's a major like a uh, motivational aspect to the game and moving on to another location uh, is honestly it's like a it's like a boost to morale there's a lot of people who quit playing the game because they like try to tough it through to st. Croix from Emerald Lake and they never go anywhere else in between like Everglades or something like that and they actually quit the game because they're so sick of of just grinding walleye however if you go fish for walleye at Emerald Lake you will make so much more money than the bass at wherever you're fishing at
Yeah, see, North, you must just have the perfect setup for this sort of thing, man, because uh, it is not working out as well for us. We're using a 3 aught instead of a 2 aught, mind you, but still. We get like five seconds of retrieve before it's in. We'll, we'll test to see if it's the three op that's messing things up. How about? I'm willing to experiment. Did it go to our home inventory instead? There you go. There you better. Of course, you're also casting it way further than me with that rod you have. So I don't know, man. It must just be a, a good way you're doing it. Maybe we'll get him with this twitch technique. Otherwise, the only thing I can think is that we literally just cannot cast it out far enough for the game to register and send a fish towards our lure. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. If you whine enough, the game provides. That's what we did. We whined and whined and whined and finally, finally we dine, boyos. Marry a little sockeye. Yeah! Yeah! We got him! We changed the time yet. Just want to watch the beautiful sunset here at Kanik Creek. 66 feet out. See, I got 54 feet. You're getting an extra. extra. 12 feet out than me. I, I, here, you don't want to know how much this is worth? Guys, when you come into the chat and say you've done the math, listen, just right now, I've done the math and what you said is false. See, see how, like, that's what it means to me because you're not showing me any of your work. You can literally say anything. You caught an eight pound bass today in real life. Fantastic, thumbs up to you. You can come in here and say, hey, you can catch bluegill at Lone Star and, uh, and you never have to move on to any map and before you know it, you'll be at the Congo. Just catching bluegill at Lone Star. Believe me, I've done the math. Uh, doesn't matter what you say. I know it's not true. And unless you're gonna literally show me a freaking math equation you did on Discord, showing me all the different scientific trials of the stuff that you've done that shows that the freaking spotted bass at Lone Star Lake could even come close to any other location. Like, it, it means nothing, you saying this. It means absolutely nothing. You could literally tell me that you saw Bigfoot today and I would believe it the same amount. See, so I'm the only one doing math today. The only math I do is when freaking C North tells me he's casting 66 feet and I'm casting 54. 
that dude freaking pink salmon there about had him <gasps> and we about had a sockeye after him you guys ultimate roller 2500s that also means nothing to me you think i like remember the rods in this game Why is what still on my mind? Hundred and seventy six feet, actually. Sweet. That's what I needed right now. Let's go. Fantastic. Fantastic. What'd you miss? Ah, oh, so many good things. So many good things. Wouldn't have wanted to miss out on it. Lost yet again? Can't even get into the game. We're losing connection. So, C North, did you lose connection to the game or is it just me? This loading bar has 0% on it. You're still fishing? Why are we so unlucky? Fishing Planet just really hates us the past, like, week. We can't do anything. We end up losing connection. It just said that I'm online, but now the loading bar's going. just wanted to prompt me with another uh, ad you lost connection too maybe it's a server based thing what time zone are you in Sea North freaking thing back oh jeez is a river spear the river spear eight foot two we have this one holy shoot it really is a life lightweight rod 760 fourths to a half ounce Let's do it. No. Oh, 
Oh, so many reels, so many options. 35.5. Like looking for something with a high recovery, but also around 50 pounds. I'm not finding anything. The crack in 8,000 is the closest I've found. something guys go ah we just got rid of so much stuff Some shads we could throw too. Look at all these nymphs. All right, we got lots of stuff. Let's go. Braid, braid, braid. I didn't listen to you. IDR 10,000, Raiden. How did no nothing pop up? What What is 10,000 in our IDR even? I don't even know what that is. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you, thank you, Raiden. Appreciate it. Lil Chris Tootin, you're way behind, man. We put out a video about this w months ago. It was called The Biggest Mistake Fishing Planet Players Make. So you, what you just told me is that you're making the biggest mistake that all Fishing Planet players make. Go watch the video, come back. Okay, man? You're wasting my time. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Look at me with my river spear. <laughs> Into the lake you go to be eaten by Chinooks. Is that a pretty realistic spearing sound? When's your next angler stream? I don't know.
little Chris Tudin, I am exactly. I'm, I know exactly what you're saying because that's exactly what we talked about in that video. So you need to go watch it, literally leave the stream and go watch it and then come back. Okay. Do me a favor. Don't say anything else. Leave. Go watch the video. fish jump to they're jumping all over the place man they got to jump right there they are like dolphins trip triplex is it triplex or triplex come on sockeye <gasps> Oh my God, can you believe that? He freaking swam away with a freaking loser. See North, you scared my sockeye away with your sockeye. Going through a rough time, got hit by a car and your streams helped me stay out of my head. Make the pain a little less every time I see him. Thank you both. Poseidon, goodness gracious. Yeah, but how's the car look? Am I right? Showed that car who's boss, didn't ya? That's a... Uh... Tell you what, the next time I see tryouts for man versus car, I'll, t I'll tell them that I know a guy who's, who's had a fight with a car and lived to tell the tale. So I think you're doing pretty good, man. Well, I'm glad that the videos are helping. Hopefully you're being able to play. You didn't break your arm or your hands or anything, did you? I'm gonna feel really bad if you did break your arm or your hands. Be like, no, I, lo I lost both of my hands in the accident. I can't play at all anymore. I'll devote, I'll devote all of my Fishing Planet sessions to you. That's what I'll do in that scenario. Your left arm is shat? No. So can you, like, do you play on a computer though? St can you still play? Like every single bone? Even your hands and everything? That's wild. Teach me your way. Man, ever since we got back out here, we haven't got one, so I don't know, man. I'm trying. I'm I'm, I'm trying. Give me a chance. <laughs> we had one sockeye come out here and try to grab it. Maybe it's just this color. Maybe they're not feeling the green nymph right now. They're all just sitting there going, no, pink. Pink is my color. I like pink. Chartreuse, small yellow crank slams. Is that those mini crankbaits or? Oh, 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 we got him. We got him. Little Chinook, Little Chinook. Heck yeah, man. Oh, it's a chum. Oh, that makes me so happy. I was sure that we got into another Chinook and I was about to lose my freaking marbles. Well, that's awesome. Pretty fish. Let's see what Hino's re uh, reaction is. As expected. As expected, he's happy. Yeah. 
You no. I think someone owes you a computer. On a computer, all it all it requires is a mouse with your right hand, unless you're left-handed. <laughs> then it would suck even more. God, that's awful, dude. Well, I'm sorry. I devote this this live stream to you. That's <laughs> just start it. Start it off. You tell me when to click and I'll click, okay? We'll play together. You you tell me you tell me uh when to set the hook and everything and I'll set it. Pink is your favorite color? Pink's a good color. I, I like uh I'm, I'm so not not so much pink, but like uh like a salmon or like a coral. I, I'm a fan of those colors. Very similar. Similar to pink anyway. I use a lot of lures that are pink. So I guess in a way pink is a, a color I like. Rivers likes can you catch monsters at because I want to catch one. Just depends on what you think a monster is. Monster's a very subjective term. Start a GoFundMe. Sue them for the win. Righty for the win. see speed one is the best and I'm just like doing a, like a just just to stop and go is all I'll do but I'll do it I'll do it for, just for you what do you think about the hunter call the wall adding retrievers I think it's it's See, the darn thing about the Hunter Call of the Wild. Here, I'm going to go into a big tangent that's going to waste everyone's time. So there you go. You're the one that started it. The thing about Hunter Call of the Wild, they started the game. They started the game with everything you need to play a hunting game, right? What were they missing? Huh? What were they missing? More hunting locations to go out and get more animals. They added a trophy lodge so that you can collect stuff, right? After that, they had it all, man. You don't need, you don't need a retriever because the ducks come to you. You don't need uh, a dog, you little animals. If they had anything to get a dog in the game for, it would be to go up on like pheasants and stuff like that and hold them in one place. That way you could catch up to them and shoot them. You know, I'm thinking of all the different uh, birds that were in Reventuli and stuff like that, that, you know, you could sneak up on uh, via these dogs. Speaking of dogs. Look at little boy. Goodness. Coming on two two live streams in a row. You saying hi to everybody. You doing okay? Just wanted to come down and see what I was doing. Hmm? <laughs> You're so cuddly. I love you. Oh. <laughs> Alright. You go find Bjork. Go have fun. I'm gonna keep playing the game. Ugh. My mic is messed up. Ah. Someone mentioned this the other day, but every time I checked it, I couldn't find anything that was messed up.
Your Malamute, St. Bernard mix. Ooh. Didn't realize I could add soft baits to him. Heck yeah, man. Keeps on muting and unmuting for me. Most likely what happens is that if you get out of room or something like that, or talk outside of the zone, maybe. I don't know. It can it can really shut off and just not not catch your voice and everything. But who knows? Technology, am I right? So anyway, as I was saying, everything that they add to the Hunter Call of the Wild that's not a new map or a new equipment that allows you to do something that you weren't able to do before, it's just, it's just nothingness. Like it's just, it's, it's nothing. It's just random stuff. That means nothing. Maybe to you, if you have a Labrador Retriever and you want to hunt with it. Otherwise, why would I use a Labrador Retriever? It does nothing for me. Right on, Jason. Interesting. We're casting upstream now and we can't keep up with it. Let's try a pink nymph. How about that? I don't know what to tell you, Ohio, bro. thing is is there's no way for me to really check it i can bring my phone up but to then listen to myself i have to mute it you know and if i mute myself or you know then then i can't talk to hear how it sounds god are you freaking joking me Unless we all just want to listen to myself as well. We can just listen to everything twice and it'll all be a good time. Yeah, this is fun. Coming through perfect for me, man. Sounds like there's something on your end. I have no idea. Could be a connection issue for all I know. Why would I have to net this fish? It's literally up on the bank. There's no reason for me to net it.
It's the weather. It's the. It's definitely the weather. Pike for lure need to. Ah. Uh, yeah. Certain side to 1.2 or something, so it takes a while to catch five at Kirk Waits perch bully. Oh. oh, we had one. Yeah, we recently did a video on the whole perch bully, didn't we? Or at least getting the lure for the perch bully. Goodness gracious, we must have had three or four attempted bites on this one retrieve. I'm going to try to do a twitch on the next one. That way, if something tries to come up and grab it, we'll just immediately set the hook on. Putting stands in Emerald Dock. You know, there is one particular stand that doesn't stick into docks it's like a red one that holds two rods um, otherwise if you get the green stand it should work which one are you using found out where the dolly varden are okay got a chinook red dual sand yeah but it worked before the update yeah it must have been a bug because it's never worked it's it's like it's never worked on docks it works on ground but it's never worked on docks so maybe there was an update that allowed it to work and then they you know went they took it back to where it was supposed to be or something like that but uh but yeah i don't know Let's try shad. We haven't tried a shad yet. Ooh, we got ribbed shads too. Is one of those will work well? It's just like the magic lure that catches everything. What's the best boat in the game in your opinion? Hard to say. I have two favorites. But I have I technically have three favorites. For one. It's just the green boat that's at the very end. Uh, it's like the best boat you can buy in the game for in-game cash. That is like one of my favorite boats because it kind of like symbolizes that you've reached the end of the game and you bought the best boat and that's like as good as you can do, you know? You've bought the best boat in the game. You, you've, you've made it. You've made it to the end. And for that reason, I love that boat. Um, you know, the people who are able to buy that boat have put in a lot of time, um, and they've, and they've bought it, you know, it is a bass boat. Yeah. Um, second favorite boat is just the boat that you get from the Amazonian maze. So it's, it's just a cool boat, but you have to get it through the DLC, which is costing you money in a free game. But uh, then the third boat would be the Congo boat, which allows you to have two rod holders. 
which is just really helpful. Yeah, the Congo DLC boat. So two of the three are Congo DLCs. The other one is obviously the uh, Frankenfish kayak. Now that's a that's a cool boat as well, and you can get that for for free. Well, we are certainly trying the shad, and we're certainly not catching any fish. But it was worth a try. Could have been the best darn lure in the game. But now we can soft, you know, we can say without a doubt that it's not. It's not, it's not the best lure. <laughs> it's not catching any fish. Try this one. Do make more money as you go through. I mean, that is usually how games work. They usually make it, you know, as you move forward, you get better gear and make more money. That's, that's usually how games are made. But I respect you for, for saying that. Res respect the hell out of you. What, what boat is the Amazon boat? It's the boat that you get in the Amazon DLC. It's a blue boat with two engines on the back. It's just how expensive the travel is. You know, at a certain point, you don't mind because you look at your inventory and you have nearly $3 million and travel costs just doesn't mean much. What do we got? Another little Chinook. When's the next angler vid? I don't know. Never I'm able to get it done, I suppose. Probably after Thanksgiving. <sighs> See, I do these live streams so I can talk with people, puts out a video, two videos a week. But if I wasn't doing these live streams, it would be giving me time to make videos. I hope you all understand this. It's like everyone comes to the live stream and asks me when I'm going to put out a video, not knowing that if I wasn't doing the live stream that I probably would be working on the video they're mentioning, and then I would be able to put it out. So I'm literally here with you all, instead of working on the video, that you're coming into the live stream and asking for. Guys, so it's just a, it's like a strange thing. A very strange thing to me. Oh, have you ever fished out of the continent? I've fished in four continents. I've uh, done a fair bit of fishing. You fish both saltwater and fresh? I mean, when I have the opportunity, I've always lived in the Midwest, so I lived in Kansas, and now I live in Wisconsin, so we're not close to the ocean. But I have fished in the ocean a few times. But not, 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 not a lot. I don't get the opportunity too often. Six PM is best with the two aught topper. The two aught topper. Now, what's the what's the topper? Is that the 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 spinny one? I'm honestly just I got I'd love to just catch a pink salmon. 
If we could catch a good sized pink salmon or a unique sockeye or something like that, like that'd be cool too. Imagine fishing for crabs. That would be cool. What do we get? A little chum? A little chum. Let's switch to a three out. You know, because we're catching so many fish. Let's narrow that down. You're awesome, Poseidon. You're gonna be fishing in India soon. Ooh, very nice. That's on the list, man. I got uh, the Goonch Catfish and the Golden Masir. Love to catch in India. Frustrated earlier, I wanted to buy two Leviathan 10,000s and then curse removed to the top of the page, and I bought the wrong one, wasting 44,000 on the wrong reel and only wanted to give me 8,000 back. That's a rough, dude. We have the freshwater oceans, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not as cool. When's the ocean map coming out? It's coming out at the same time I mentioned in the video. Things have not gotten faster or slower, so that's good. You should go fish the Amazonian maze. You know, we were just there like two live streams ago. Two or three. Will you ever do a mobile free-to-play beginner series? There is no reason for me to do a mobile free-to-play beginner series because it's literally the same as just a regular free-to-play beginner series. So, if you want to watch a mobile free-to-play beginner series, just watch the beginner series 2. And it will basically be just that. It's just more work. You're asking me to play a game on my phone that I've already played twice, record everything on my phone, transfer it to my computer, edit it in my computer, and upload, when it's just gonna be the same exact content that I've already put out twice. Like, why? It's more work. I don't have time. I don't know if you're seeing this underlying theme. But I do not have time. I set aside two times a week to do these live streams. And I hope you're happy about it. Because <laughs> otherwise I'd be working on a freaking contract for our company. And if I wasn't working on that contract for a company, I'd be working on another contract for a company. Never been out of the USA? Oh, someday, someday, I'll have to venture out. It's a fun time. Getting to experience things in another another area. Especially when you uh, when you can feel like, you know, you, you are the only person where you are that, uh, that looks like you. That's a strange thing. When you can go somewhere, I mean, I'm speaking from the um, perspective of a white American. When you can go somewhere and you are literally the only white guy in the building, it's an eye-opening experience. Kind of makes you feel like uh, the world's so much bigger than what you know. Well, aren't you just a freaking world of, uh, of information? We were using the X-Series Nymph for the longest time in the beginning, and all we were catching is what was Chinooks, so we switched it up. You want 
To catch the 100 pound carp, you have to use the XL spot rocket, not the tiny one. Did you watch the last live stream? Because if you did, John, you probably would have saw that we were using the XL spot rocket. There's an XL spot rocket, extra large, long cast spot that we were using. Now it was a trophy one, John, so maybe it doesn't count if it's a trophy, but I was hoping that the trophy would make it even better. Who knows though? I don't know what you know, John. You probably know better. I've only played this game for like whatever. I don't know how many years. What's the hardest fish to get in Fishing Planet? I don't know. <laughs> That's the darn thing is every time you cast, it's like a roll of the dice. So I could literally say a fish and then someone could be like, I caught that on the first cast. Cause it's just like, if everything is perfect, then you could literally just get it on the first cast. Still watch your videos about the game because I'm lonely. Because <laughs> you're lonely, my Zim Devil. My God, you're not lonely. You crazy dog. Max power cast towards the hills, past the trees and the horizon, and you will catch. I promise. Way out in them mountains. Back in the day, I used to be able to cast over them mountains. <laughs> it actually landed in the water. <laughs> Switch to the X series, man. We'll get lucky. Over the rock we go. How oh, do we actually come? Oh, jeez. Holden, you are correct. We did catch one. It's a freaking bull trout. Are you joking me? We just caught a freaking unique bull trout. Trophy! Ow! Oh, dirty dog! Did he get a personal best though? <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, top notch. I love how this completely started with a absolute joke. <laughs> and, and, and we caught this. Oh, that's hilarious. That's great. Char trophies. $11,050. Don't mind if I do. And a skip time token. Bo loves us two days out of the week. That's right. I love you two days out of the week. And after that, you're dead to me. <laughs> Don't you understand? You're dead to me. They're about to give me morphine, so I hope I can wake up to one of your streams. Brother, heck yeah, man. Well, enjoy the morphine. Stay awake. Don't fall asleep. Just kidding. Don't do that. Do it. Do it. Just kidding. Don't do it. X-Series Single Spoon 4 Rot is amazing there. Doesn't everyone just have all the information in the world now that we have seven minutes left? Oh. Nah, I appreciate it, John. You need grayling is the hardest. You need grayling is the hardest? You're joking me. We used to just have live streams where we'd just sit there and catch unique grayling after unique grayling. Then we'd switch the time and catch two more unique grayling or whatever, and then we'd keep on going. That was a, that was like a whole thing. Catch some taming, roll over, catch some grayling, do it all over again. It was a blast, a heckin' blast. Have a good night, Greek god Poseidon. <laughs> what made you do YouTube? Uh, I think I was bored and lonely. Yeah. I got out of college. Uh, I was living in a house by myself with my dog and, uh, and I was playing the hundred call of the wild and I wanted to do something. So I started making videos. 
A lot of those really old videos are still on there. You can uh, go back and watch them. They're really bad, but you can you can watch them if you want to. Do you like Fortnite? You know, I've uh, I've never played a full game of Fortnite in my life. My brother needed to use the restroom one time and handed me the controller while he was playing. I walked into a house, I shot a person with a shotgun and then died. And that was it. That's all I played. I've never had any interest to play that game ever again. Probably not low on the other side of the trees. In the next 15 to 20, that's probably what it is, yeah. Next 15 to 20 casts, I'll catch one. Hey, right on. Was the math homework hard or are you a learned individual? You know what you know. You're over there catching freaking unique chum salmon. We're over here twiddling our thumbs. What did you miss? Oh, so much. Hooked up. Hooked up. He meant on the River Tiber, Italy, though. But you never caught one there. Who? Who, who meant that? What? What did we catch? Freaking pink salmon, let's go! Baby! Let's go! New personal record! We're killing it! That's right! Suck on that one, Sea North! Biggin! Biggin! We got him! Taking picks. Taking picks because we're sweet. Because we're awesome. We know what we're doing, and we got him. We got him. That's right. Enil, check it. Let's go. Biggin, a biggin. Looks like a slaughterfish from Skyrim. Love it. Well, that's a heckin' fish right there. I love him with all my heart. Let's, uh,. Put out a marker for that mad lad. Yep, that's where he was. <laughs> a, a max cast way off in the random direction. Got that, so all the credit goes to me. No way, Jose. It was all, it, you may have arranged it, but it was entirely up to my skill to catch that. <laughs> <laughs> On the max cast. <laughs> 122 pound unicorn taman. Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh God. There we go. Hooked up again. He's taking out line. Splash up at the top. What the heck are you? Can't even tell where our line is. He keeps splashing up at the top. Surfacing. Surfacing. Whoa! I'm gonna go with the Chinook. I'm assuming he's a Chinook. Probably the most fun stream. That's not good. We must have some pretty boring streams most of the time. <laughs> Trophy Chinook, all right, I see you. I said, put your reel on one speed and you caught an uni. Oh, maybe. People say that all the time though.
I'm sticking with the max cast. We're doing it. Having trouble keeping it up though. We've been fishing at one speed this entire time though. First cast. <laughs> oh. No, there's a Sokka. Was that a Sokka falling? It? It was. Grab it! Oh, you dirty dog. Dude, that freaking Sockeye followed it over that rock. It went over the rock trying to kid it. Got stuck on the rock right there and then went over here and then right back at it and then just nibbled on it and went away. What a freaking pain. One for the record books. So the ocean map obviously isn't coming this year. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We've got a whole month, a whole month plus, so a month and a half. Hate it when they miss it, I know, right? How do you like that? Psh. I've been we we started off the stream with a unique Chinook. We we stopped fishing for him. That's why I came over here so that I would stop catching Chinooks. But then we kept catching them. I've been trying to avoid the Chinooks while fishing over here. All right, last cast, everybody. Let's see. Last, I need to get an animation for the last cast. Sort of a countdown sort of thing. Last cast, it's the last cast, everybody. Ooh. Oh, and we hooked up. And we hooked up. A little pink salmon. Right on. We're going to end it on a little pink salmon. Well, top notch, everybody. This was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed coming to Kinney Creek, trying to uh, figure out how the heck to fish here again. That was fun. <laughs> I don't know if we figured it out at all, but we at least started catching some fish a lot more than we did at the very beginning. So anyway, take care. This was fun. I enjoyed it. Late 2023, early 2024, that kind of sealed it for me. Hopefully early next year. Yeah, probably so. One time soon before dying, let one person teach you how to play. Yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> Take care, L Knives. Oh, Sim Devil, C North. Big, big, big thanks to C North for fishing with us and helping us catch more fish. That was fun. Oh, good night, good night, good night. Take care, and as always. One family, game on.